hey y'all what's up and welcome yet again to another video it's your girl Allie here with another video for y'all and if you've been rocking with me since day one welcome on back if you are new to the channel then please go ahead and take a second to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already as well as the notification bell that way you get notified every time I upload a new video happy new year welcome we made it it's 2020 and I'm in a really good mood today like I woke up really upbeat I was able to get a lot done um, already for the first day of the month which I'm super excited about so I'm gonna get this high going for as long as I can throughout the rest of this week so yeah, let's get into today's video. Today I'm going to be trying out a new product for deep conditioning as well as just styling my hair for the week. So I figured I would share that all with you guys. I actually found these um, Briogeo Don't Despair Respair Deep Conditioning Hair Cap System packets. And I picked these up over at uh, Generation Beauty. Um, they were pretty much included in my gift bag that they give all of the creators at the end so it had been sitting in my bag for a while and i was like you know what i have been slacking in the deep conditioning department very much so i'm actually due for a trim as well because my ends are just looking <laughs> really really nasty so i'm going to make sure i get a trim at least sometime next week but for right now, I figured I would do what I can in order to help just avoid any further dryness of my ends and of my hair overall. And I would go in with a new deep conditioner. So I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get into it. So this is a two-step system, which includes the deep conditioning treatment along the bottom. And then you have the hair cap, which is included in the top. And it says that you only need to leave this in for 15 minutes. It's meant to visibly repair, strengthen, enhance softness and silkiness. And it also contains natural oils, vitamins, and antioxidants complex. So I'm going to go in with the deep conditioner. Take my hair down. It's still pretty wet. So that's good. I'm just going to squeeze all the contents of the deep conditioner out like so so first impression it isn't a lot but it also isn't too little that it won't be able to cover my entire strands so it's all about how you apply it typically apply my deep conditioners um, from the ends up and I do so by splitting my hair And smoothing it on ooh okay so already wow already this is very very soft to the touch it's literally gliding do you see that it's literally gliding through my hair and it's also very creamy so that is a plus this is exactly what my hair needed because when I tell y'all that I have been neglecting my hair this past month um, pretty much the month of December, I was not deep conditioning as often as I typically do. Mostly due to work and also just being lazy. So this is like the first actual deep condition that I do in a while. Okay, so once all of the deep conditioner is in your hair, the next step is the cap. So it says that you can leave the cap on for 15 minutes to an hour. It has an inner lining of argan oil, which I'm looking at right now. So if you look closely, there is traces of argan oil within the cap. So you can see that oil that traces the line of the cap. So I'm going to just 
take my hair, tuck it the way I typically do, and apply the cap. Also says here to massage the cap into the hair for 15 seconds. All right, so thanks to my timer, I was able to count 15 seconds on there. So I've gone ahead and massage, massage that in. So I'm just going to let this sit in my hair while I do the rest of my needs for the night. And then I'm going to wash it out and come back to show you guys my results. All right, so I've gone ahead and rinsed out that deep conditioner. And I put on my microfiber towel, as you all can see, so that it could just collect the majority of that excess water and so now my hair pretty much feels ready to style today my leave-in of choice is going to be by the main choice and it's their rinse out or leave-in conditioner from the tropical moringa collection and this is actually a really good leave-in conditioner i've used it couple of times in the past and i just really like how hydrated my hair feels after i've used it Alrighty, now that I have that leave-in completely smoothed onto my hair, my styler of choice today is not going to be my My L Organics. I actually wanted to try something a little different, so I'm going in with the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Coil Enhancing Moisture Butter. This one has a much thicker consistency, and so it is definitely going to hydrate my strands, and I feel also make the style last a lot longer. Plus, it'll hold up a lot better to just these, this windy um, weather that we got going on out here in New York. So, I'm going to use that. And then directly on top of it, I'm going to go in with my Miracle Repair X Anti-Breakage Serum by TGIN. You guys have seen me use this before, but I noticed that I've been using it a lot more often with these um, windier and colder months. So, I really like it on my ends or on top of any other product. I'm doing a braid and twist. So I'm going to do a side part for this look. So when doing a braid and twist, I typically um, part the front section, as you see here. I'm going to go silent and pretty much just style my hair for you guys. So first things first is that I'm going in with that Carol's Daughter Coil Enhancing Moisture Butter and I'm smoothing it onto that section that I've gone ahead and separated from the rest of my hair and smoothing it on thoroughly. And then right on top of that, I'm going in with the Miracle Repair X Anti-Breakage Serum by TGIN and smoothing that on in order to seal in that moisture cream. Next, I just brush through my hair with my wide tooth comb to help get rid of any tangles and I commence the first section as a twist. So with this, you don't have to be too tight or too secure, you can actually twist in a loose manner just to get a fluffier twist out as I'm doing here. Once I reach the ends of my hair, I secure it with a perm rod, securing it higher up because I wanted my braid and twist to turn out a lot shorter. So I just twisted it up as high as I could and secure it in place. And then I have my first twist done. Now moving on to that next section, I'm gonna repeat the same steps. So 
parting that section and making a cleaner line than the one I originally had just so that I don't have too much hair or too little hair in the section that I'm working in. I secure the rest of my hair. And then going in with that coil enhancing moisture butter again, smoothing it onto the section thoroughly. And then directly on top of that, going in with the TGIN Moisture Repair X Anti-Breakage Serum. I then begin a braid in this section. So usually what I do is if I start off with a twist, I then follow up with a braid and then follow up with a twist and then follow up with a braid and so on and so forth. Or if I start off with a braid, then the, verse, the reverse would happen where I then follow with a twist. So it all depends on how you start off styling that will pretty much determine how your style will turn out. As you can see, I'm taking my time with this section and if necessary, I go in with a bit more product just in case any bits of my hair feel dry. Smooth it on and continue on with my braid. And then as I get closer to my ends and I take my time, I then secure it with a perm rod just as I did with that first section. And I'm just making sure to really secure the perm rod well and to smooth the ends on just so that nothing is left out of place and then my ends can curl nicely. All right guys, so I have completely twisted and braided all of my hair. So this is pretty much what I am left with. And so because I want to make sure that my hair is completely dry by morning when I take it down, I am going to sit under my bonnet dryer for at least an hour tops, um, especially because the chunkier bits always take the longest to dry. So that's what I'm going to do now. And then in the AM, I will be taking this hair down and showing you all the final results. See you in the AM. So it's the next morning and after sitting under the dryer the night before, it's time to take down my scarf and see if all those sections were dry properly. So I'm just going to remove my head scarf. And as you can see, I've got a ton of shine already and here I'm just double checking to make sure that no sections were damp. So far so good. So then going in with the anti-breakage serum, once again, I'll be using this in order to take down the perm rods as well as the rest of my hair. And you want to make sure to remove your perm rods gently so that you don't run into any tangles and you also don't run into any frizz. You want to make sure that everything is pretty much in place so that you can have a smooth takedown. Once all of those perm rods have been removed, I'm now just going to go ahead and start taking down my hair. Once I reach the last section and all of my hair is taken down, this is pretty much what my hair is looking like. And you can see that there is a ton of shine and a ton of moisture. Honestly, when I took my hair down this day, my hair felt really, really soft and really, really bomb, which I love. So as you can see, I have some parts. So I'm gonna go in with my pick now to fluff my hair and to add some volume because no braid and twist or no style whatsoever is complete without some volume. So I'm just gonna go through and thoroughly pick my hair to get it as big as possible. Golden, 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 golden,
Once I've picked all of my hair to my liking, I'm just adding a little bit of edge control just to that side section of my hair to smooth my hair down. Nothing too crazy because I don't really care for my edges looking super neat, but I'm just following along with my natural hairline and smoothing those hairs in place. And then once I'm done, this is pretty much what your girl was left with. A ton of shine, a ton of moisture, and just really soft defined hair, which I absolutely love. I'm really digging the final results with this hair combo, and I hope you guys did too. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts were, and if you have these products, will you be trying them out and trying this combo out? If so, let me know, and as always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your homegirls if you're looking for a new routine, but as always, Thank you so much for watching, guys. Love you all mucho, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.